Well, I did not have this on my bingo card for the day, but OpenAI just dropped Sora 2 and it's free. Yeah, after a few weeks of rumor and speculation, they somehow managed to stealth drop, I don't wanna call it necessarily the most anticipated video model, but certainly one that most of us have been very curious about. I mean, it's not exactly news that when Sora 1 was initially teased back in February of 2024, I mean, it blew some minds, but then came about a year of additional teases, PR snafus, even more hype, and then, well, you know, the eventual release, and let's be kind and call that kind of a mess. So the question on everyone's mind is, of course, is Sora 2 the comeback kid? Excuse me, has anyone seen a wolf? A what? A wolf, around here anywhere? Uh, no, thanks, how about you, seen a wolf? Can't say I have, man, sorry. Appreciate it. Kicking off with a surprise live stream, the details for Sora 2 are, well, pretty impressive. There's no question that OpenAI was lagging pretty far behind Google with VO3, so, you know, obviously the pressure was on. And in terms of overall specs, I mean, OpenAI definitely delivered here, although we are taking some very strange roads. We'll talk about that in just a minute, so I'm gonna put a little bit of an asterisk there. Sora 2 is capable of generating 16 seconds of video at a time so you know eight seconds more than vo3 basically double and I, I i don't think that's by coincidence it's also outputting at a resolution of 1080 and has native audio uh, which sounds pretty good let's take a quick listen yo check it i'm the bard with the bars quill turn mic spitting heat from the stars to rhyme or not to rhyme that's no question i drop couplets like lessons no second guessing from stratford to the stage i break convention they're also boasting better physics and world understanding uh you know claiming that essentially soar 2 is the gpt 3.5 moment for ai video i mean i do have to admit that shots like you know these backflips here or uh coming up in just a second uh, like this olympic gymnast on a balance beam i mean that that looks really really impressive we even get the return of our you know, our Dalmatian from the original Sora 1 demos. Uh, and the physics look, I mean, kind of remarkable in this. There is like a little bit of a naturalness there, but uh, I mean, it's sort of hard to spot. They're also flexing on the model being less decoherent, uh, stating that prior video models are over-optimistic, uh, morphing objects and deforming reality to successfully execute upon a text prompt. Whereas uh, with Sora 2, it's better about obeying the laws of physics compared to prior systems. By prior systems, do you mean Sora 1? Because uh, I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you, Sam. That's a pretty low bar. Sora 2 is also supposed to understand your prompt better from a storytelling perspective, uh, stating that it's a big leap forward in controllability uh, with the ability to follow intricate instructions spanning multiple shots while accurately persisting world state, uh, and surprisingly excels at realistic cinematic and anime styles. Speaking of anime, they just can't help themselves uh, with the example prompt here of in the style of a Studio Ghibli movie. It's, it's really like you guys are inviting the chaos. Moving over to what I guess they are pretty much considering to be the marquee feature of Sora 2, and then also getting into some decisions that I, I don't think that all of you are going to be in love with. So probably one of the most like remarkable and actually kind of stunning aspects of the new Sora model is this new cameo feature in which uh, essentially you are able able to uh, upload an image of an image and video of yourself uh, and then you know have yourself appear in your video generations now obviously this opens up a whole pandora's box of sticky issues uh, according to openai you once you upload your cameo character yourself essentially uh you'll have options that you know in which you can only only you can use it uh people that you approve can use it or everyone can use it. I, I don't know what lunatic is gonna say everyone, but well, the option's there. I just wanna point out that uh, the Cameo feature does seem to record your voice and clone that as well. So, uh, you know, listen, if you're gonna let your likeness out for everyone on the Sora platform uh, to use as they choose, I mean, uh, you're way braver than I am. Now, given that Cameo feature, uh, I mean, obviously there's a lot of safety concerns there. I do wanna note that uh, it does apparently function through the app and uh, you are given a very specific script to read that's probably randomized. So it's not like you can just, you know, uh, clone anyone. Although admittedly, I can already think of like three or four ways around that. Uh, that said, do expect, uh, you know, prompt guardrails to be set pretty high. They even state so in the live stream. Uh, eventually those will be lowered as time goes on, but uh, at least at launch, yeah, expect a lot of pushback. 
Surprisingly, or actually maybe not when you think it through, Sora 2 is, at least for now, debuting as a mobile app. And I'm sure this is actually gonna make a lot of you mad, uh, but it is also iOS only. Now, apparently there will be an update to the Sora platform. Uh, for now, if you go there, you're actually met with this, you know, enter an invite code, which is essentially the rollout of uh, Sora 2. So waiting on my invite code, like I think a lot of others are, although I do have a look uh, at, I think the first uh, Sora 2 user generated video uh, that was released coming up. So while I'm not necessarily overly thrilled that Sora 2 is at least initially going to be released uh, as a, you know, 916 vertical, well, presumably 916 at least, um, you know, a mobile app that you have to essentially, you know, twiddle thumbs in order to prompt with, it does clearly fall in line with OpenAI's push towards uh, creating their own social media platform, which I still think is weird. For some reason, everyone keeps racing to creating like AI TikTok or, well, AI Vine as Elon wanted to, and boy, he's gonna be mad since Sam beat him to the idea. I mean, maybe I'm missing something. I just don't see who this is being built for. Um, you know, we have TikTok, we have Instagram, and we have our YouTube shorts. And thus far, at least, uh, you know, AI generated content is intermingling just fine. That said, I'm not a billionaire. I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel. Uh, let's hop over to the, well, the cinematic side of things because we did obviously see a lot of 16 by nine footage. Now, uh, the Sora platform, as mentioned, will be getting an update, but interestingly, and I don't know if they're jumping the gun here or not, but uh, Higgsfield actually has a wait list for Sora 2 being able to utilize it on their platform, presumably you know, via the API. Um, interestingly, uh, obviously, here you will be able to use all of the various Higgsfield toys. Um, they say, you know, uh, essentially adding an image, so image to video. And that is something that, that the OpenAI team was a little bit on the dodgy side about. And I do not believe that at least at launch, uh, Sora 2 vanilla uh, will accept image inputs. Um, so one benefit to using it via an API might be image to video. Now, I don't have any inside information on this. Uh, Higgsfield uh, does have a few examples up that, that do appear to be Sora 2, or at least like look very, like they don't look like any other video model that I've really seen. So uh, I presume that this is it. Um, so yeah, as soon as I find out more, I will definitely let you know. In the meantime, if you wanna hit up the Higgsfield waitlist, uh, the link is down below. So clearly we have seen some very impressive examples from OpenAI on Sora 2, but let us not forget, we also saw Tokyo Woman walking uh, in February of 2024. And well, we know how Sora 1 ended up looking. So, you know, the question is, how does Sora 2 look, uh, you know, with user generated content? Well, friend of the channel, Reza Safai has posted up at least what I believe is the first user generated uh, piece of content from Sora 2. Glad you could make it, Bong. We have a delicate situation. A prototype microchip was stolen from the Ministry of Defense last night. If the wrong people replicate it, our satellites go blind. I'm blind to everything except snacks. <laughs> Heaven help. Bonk, you're supposed to be locating the microchip, not the bakery. Snooping works up an appetite. Well then let's go to my place for cookies and some hot milk. So that's not the full piece. I did I cut around some stuff, you know, YouTube. Um, but, you know, you can check out um, Reza's entire Sora 2 generation. Uh, that'll be linked down below. Now, if you were underwhelmed by that clip or like maybe just whelmed, uh, I do want to point out that Reza did not have a ton of time to play with the model. So um, I do think that once we all have a little more time to start poking and prodding at it, uh, we'll probably find some, you know, some really impressive results out of it. And the plus side to all of this is that, yeah, apparently we all can start playing with it because uh, OpenAI is releasing Sora 2 for free. Yeah, that's kind of an insane flex on, well, both, you know, Google's VO3 and, well, frankly, you know, themselves. Uh, they note that Sora 2 will initially be available for free. So I do note initially um, with generous limits to start so that people can freely explore its capabilities, uh, though these are still subject to compute constraints. Uh, GPT Pro users, obviously the $200 folks, uh, will be able to use our experimental higher quality Sora 2 Pro model. So that that's an interesting little asterisk, isn't it? It's always a bit of a rug pull at the very end there. But I mean, obviously it does make sense. I mean, these video models do cost a ton of money. Uh, in the meantime, I mean, I'm just glad that there is a version of it at least that will be available to everyone. 
Um, yeah, ultimately, it is nice to see OpenAI back on the playing field. Uh, and at the very least, this should, you know, at least give Google a little bit of a kick in the pants when it comes to VO3 and, well, maybe VO4 now. Rounding out, let's close out with a few more Sora 2 examples that just dropped. They came from the sky. But we still have the pitch. Game faces, everyone. Vision purpose If you can bend it round a wall, you can bend it through a spaceship. Ready to kick back? Always. Bend it like Billy. Dig in. Mm, so good. Huh? Why does that feel weird? Oh, my, my fingers? They're noodles. Oh, my God. I'm turning into spaghetti. No, no, no. Somebody help me. I don't want to be pasta. It's spreading. My arms, my face. Stop. Please stop. Yeah, very excited to start playing with this model. Uh, as soon as I get an invite code, I'm going to start hammering it. Um, so hopefully I will be back with a full review very soon. In the meantime, I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.